International Conference and Community Development, ICCD 2023. By theme, digital transformation, development of science and technology in improving social welfare. Online conference, November 14, 5th International Conference and Community Development, ICCD, 2023. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon, presenters and participants, ladies and gentlemen. I hope uh, you can hear me loud and clear. Welcome to the 5th ICCD Parallel Room number 3, which will have media literacy, information, communication technology, and CSR empowerment as the topics. My name is Beradita Pravita from Binda Nusantara University, Jakarta, and I will be your moderator in this parallel room today. Before we get started, I need to take a few minutes of your time for informing the regulations. First, Please rename your participant ID with your institution, underscore your name. And if you already did, thank you. So please rename your participation ID with your institution, underscore your name. Second, I will call your name from the list to make sure that you're here and ready to present. We'll skip if you're not here and move into another presenter. If there is some technical problem with your video, we hope you can do the live presentation directly. Third, the duration of your presentation maximum is seven minutes, and Mazaki will also be timekeeper to keep track of the time, and he will inform the presenters when the session is five and two minutes from ending. We will be interrupt your video and presentation if we have to. Fourth, the, uh, the questions and answer session will be after every five videos or presenter. And another presenter or participant are allowed to write the questions on chat box. Or if you urge to ask the presenter directly, you may open your cam and microphone on Q&A session. The presenter that already present their presentation uh, may answer your um question that already wrote on chat box while another presenter presenting their presentation. Fifth, the presenter have to ensure that you have all equipment and check out that it all works and you have to make sure that your video can play and your voice is clear and properly heard. Finally, we appreciate your efforts to provide and adjust your article with these timely conference topics. Now, um, moving along to our session, um, I want to I want you to answer me if you're here or you're not here. Um, Miss Noor Khalisah from Marchubuana University, are you here? Miss Noor Khalisah. Okay, we skip. Mr. Randy Indra Pradana from Bina Nusantara University? Yes, I'm here. Okay, so you will be the lucky number one, yeah, Miss Randy. After Miss Randy, Miss Kania, Kania Ratnasari from Said University? Oh, okay, you will be number two. Um, Mr. Yasef Firmansyah from Mustopo University? Yasef Firmansyah? Okay, not here. Uh, Mr. Ali Frian Wijaya from Mustafa University. Ali Frian Wijaya. Okay, you're not here. Mr. Hari Neno Bais from Mustafa University. Hello, I'm here. Okay, okay, you will be number three, yeah. 
Uh, next, uh, Novalia Agung Warjito Ardoyo. Miss Novalia Agung from Mustafa University. Uh, next, Miss Rani Puspita. Rani Puspita from Minan Nusantara University. Here. Uh, next, Mr. Muhammad Fadlan Hidayat. Yes, uh, I'm here, uh, Miss, Miss okay. Puspita. Okay, you will be number four, Mr. Muhammad Fadlan. Uh, next, Miss Fabrina Mustika Ekawati. Fabrina Mustika Ekawati from Mustopo University. Okay. Miss Fasya Astelia Ramadani. Faisa Astelia Ramadani from Mustopo University. Okay, next, Mr. Usmar from Mustafa University. Mustafa University? Yes. <clears throat> okay, Mr. Usmar, you will be number five. Okay, we can um, <laughs> okay, we can start from Mr. Randy Indra Pradana from Bina Nusantara University. The screen is yours. Mazaki, please um, help Mr. Randy to play the video. Thank you. Okay. Uh, is the video already available in the server or should I start from my own laptop here? Okay. Do you hear the sound of the video? Uh, can you hear the sound of the video? No, 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 I cannot hear the sound of the video. Hello and welcome to this presentation titled Acculturation Aspect Study on Baba Alun Dazari Mosque Architecture Using Photographic Media. The team leader is Ananda Dianti and I will be the speaker for today. My name is Randy Inder Pradana, along with two other members, Agnes Polina Gunawan and Budi Sikawan. Start with the introduction. Chikara is a metropolitan city with various cultures living and thriving there. In this city, in the capital city of Indonesia, Priorly urbanized people from the regions come to Jakarta to seek a better life, which comes along with economic boom and meaning migrants are coming in. Based on Satara Institute's Jakarta tolerance rate, current, uh, Jakarta currently ranks as 40th out of 92 cities in order of index of tolerant cities in Indonesia back in 2021. But as can be seen on the table here, Previously, on 2020, Jakarta was only rated at rank 82. The coming together of different cultures will, of course, have its own implications on the dynamics of life in Jakarta. And one of the factors considered is the comfort of living and level of tolerance between different beliefs and cultures. Such a manifestation of acculturation can be seen at the Baba Alun Mosque by Yusuf Hamka, a prominent businessman of Chinese descent and Muslim. At Babalun Mosque, we can also see the architectural elements and interior decorations, typical of architectural buildings. As for the photographic media, we will be using the Fujifilm X-H1 camera. Our methods for this journal is based on two things. First are the literature review, and the second one is visual ethnographic methods. The liter literature review will be based on historical data, spiritual point of view, and artistic value while the visual ethnographic methods will be based on visual documentation and photography as visual media, and also case studies related to community research. You can also see the visual ethnography table here. And I will skip this one to continue to the next one. 
The first literature review will be based on the history of Muslim Chinese culture acculturation in Jakarta City and its development. Based on Parling Dungan's Kyoto on 2007, the population has been very heterogeneous in Jakarta. The social heterogeneity is marked by the diversity of ethnic groups that inhabit Jakarta and their social and cultural status. There are several cultural and ethnic groups such as the Indo-Asian Europeans, also some Japanese, and also from the mixed Portuguese and Indian, also the Filipinos, Africans, Arabians, and Hundramau, which is today called Yaman, and also the Malay, Balinese, and the Chinese. These groups, especially the Chinese, lived in Batavia, and most of them came from southern China. For a long time, they were the most important residents of towns like Sunda Kelapa and Banten. They comprised of majority of foreigners from Asia in Batavia and numbered 5,000 among the 45,000 inhabitants of Batavia between 1730 and 1740. The conversion of Peranakan China to Islam also increased after the mass Chinese massacre in 1740. Therefore, the Dutch banned the Chinese from entering the fortified town of Batavia. When they become the Muslims, they entered the city of Batavia as Muslims, since it was not forbidden for Muslims to trade in the city of Batavia at the time. They lived in the Islamic community of Batavia with their old woman from 1776 to 1838. In 1828, the group system was abolished, so the Peranakan Muslims were controlled by officials in the Chinese areas of Batavia. The Kona tax was abolished, and therefore, the Chinese descendants to Islam has declined. Around 1780, Pranakan Chinese Muslims lived all outside Glodok to the east at Kebonjuruk between Old and New Town of Welter Breden. Since can be seen today, some of the historical uh, houses of the Chinese uh, locality can be seen even today. The basic architecture of typical Chinese buildings can be seen here including stage four Hang Tu Terrace, and also color plays an important factor according to the Chinese philosophy. The statement from Mujiono states that red symbolizes the fire element, represents joy, hope, luck, and happiness, and green symbolizes the wood element or mu, which symbolizes growth, longevity, and immortality, while yellow symbolizes the earth element or tu, which represents strength and power. Black symbolizes the element of water, shi, which represents despair and death, and white symbolizes the metallic element or chin, which represents sadness and purity. Based on Su's drawing here, he cured that the following explanation is to describe the characteristics of traditional Chinese architecture, which generally consists of three main elements, namely the steel floor, which is a raised floor above the ground, and wooden pillars and wooden beam structures and curved roofs. Next on our literature review is basic division of parts and architectural elements of the mosque in Java. By the standard, there are several elements of a Chinese mosque, which is a minaret, a tower located near or built into the structure of the mosque, and then a dome, and the third one is the mirab, and then the fourth one is the mimbar, and the fifth one is the mosque ornament itself. Now here is our research findings. A field survey of this research has been conducted on the May 20th and 2023. Field reviews were conducted and all photo documentations were also conducted as well. Our research findings included the architectural analysis and Chinese decorative elements applied at the Baba Alun Bizarri Mosque. Here you can see some of the elements here, such as the platform or chechi and then the porch stairs and the two or round column, and then the Chuang Shan Pan Men or two wooden door of the same size, also the Kan Chuang or low window, and the last one is Menbo or Menwan, door symbols or knockers. Also to add uh, something to the list is the Hua To Pan Wa or Hua Pian Wa or the curved roof tile. The second one is the Pai or hanging name board, and then the third one on the right is the red color. You can also see the red color is widely used here, which is applied to the column and connections. Okay, uh, it has been seven minutes. So, 
Okay, sorry, we have to cut your video, Mr. Randy, and um, your yes, that, um, group. That is okay, thank you. Okay, thank you for the um, understanding. Um, next, we will go to Ms. Kania Ratnasari from um, Said University. Ms. Kania? Yes, I'm here. Okay. The screen is yours, Miss. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, everyone. Today, uh, I like to um, present our uh, result of community service with the title is Training on the Use of Instagram Business Social Media. As a promotional and sales media for MSMEs on Charita Beach, Banten. I am Kani Ratnasari with Professor Guyatni and also Anissa Ratnotami, and we are from Said University. Utilization of social media is needed as an effort to expand marketing. The development of information technology has brought many changes to society. For example, the ease of obtaining information and making it easier for people to create media for their business. Business actors need to utilize information technology in their business development and competition. However, there are still some businesses who do not understand the benefits of using information technology or using social media. And then the problem, likewise, the problem that occurs in MSM is in Chaita Beach, Banten, is that there are still several businesses who do not know much about digital promotional media, especially Instagram business, and also they do not understand how to use social media. Well, there are many uh, businesses on uh, Chaita Beach, Banten, such as business actors who sell mping, uh, and then otak-otak, uh, salted fish, and coffees, and also fish crackers. The majority of sales are still traditional, such as word of mouth, and also placing banners in business shops. However, some of these businesses already use Instagram social media, even though it is still personal Instagram, where the content is still mixed with the business content and their daily personal content. And for this reason, it is necessary to carry out training regarding Instagram business social media to increase understanding of business in order to increase sales. And then the aim of this community service activity is to introduce the Instagram business application as an online marketing medium and also increase the knowledge of a business so they are able to use the Instagram uh, business social media which is hope to have an impact on increasing uh, sales at Chaita Beach Banten. And then uh, next is the method. Uh, in the first session of activities, the participants were given time to fill out a pretest form to measure participants' abilities before taking part in this activity. And in the second session, the lecture method was carried out where the speaker explained the introduction of Instagram business and its features and also provided uh, knowledge while motivating a business to be able to use and utilize Instagram business as a digital promotional media. In the third session, the interview and discussion method was carried out where in this session, the participants were given the opportunity to ask um, uh, questions and discuss directly with the presenters uh, regarding the digital promotional media, especially Instagram business and how to use it to support sales. At the end of the activity session, participants are given a post-test form to measure their abilities again after participating in this activity. And for the results and discussion, this uh, activity uh, in the form of Instagram business training was held on July 28, 2023 at uh, start from uh, 2 p.m. until 5 p.m. and was attended by eight training participants, namely um, MSMEs at Chaita Beach, Banten, where all participants were women and worked as a housewives. 
Uh, and then uh, at Chetai Beach, Banten, there are quite a lot of uh, local people who have businesses and some of them have used digital promotional media such as Instagram to introduce their products. However, from the results of interviews and discussions, it turns out that many of them uh, haven't used digital promotional media. There are also those who have used digital promotional media uh, such as Instagram, but for personal use, not Instagram business. So the participants who already uh, use Instagram still seem less able to attract buyers interest through the display of their pro products. Based on the pre-test results, it shows that there is ignorance or minimal knowledge and understanding of participants regarding digital promotion and also regarding Instagram business social media. However, after the training was completed and then given an evaluation in the form of a post-test, the result was that around 90% of the training participants were able to know and understand the content of the material that had been uh, presented and made efforts to start creating an Instagram business so that their business could help uh, develop further. And for the conclusion, it was felt that uh, this activity regarding Instagram business social media training for MSMEs uh, at Chetta Beach, Banten was uh, really needed by the business there. The training participants were able to know and understand the content of the material that had been presented and made effort to uh, start creating an Instagram business. It is hoped that the results have of this activity can provide a better contribution in the future to the business um, of MSMEs in Chaita Beach, Banten. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Miss um, Kania. Um, next, we will go to Mr. Hari Nenobais from Mustafa University. So, Mr. Hari, the screen is yours. No sound, sir. You see, implementation has been achieved. Evaluation need, is needed so that improvement can be made in the future. Based on this, the focus of the research is how public service through the digitizing population document and population administration service are based on policy evaluation theory. Methods. This study used descriptive qualitative research method with an interactive model from Myers and Haberman issues. The informal of this research are divided into groups into two groups, namely the DGEN Dukcapil official who issue policy for digital population administration service and the second group, namely the head of this Dukcapil and the community. The data analysis technique in this
the study focus on policy evaluation related to public service under the mandate of Minister of Home Affairs Regulation Number no. Seven of 2019 concerning online population administration service. There are two effectiveness indicators that aim to understand whether the implementation of this policy is in line with the initial target. The funding from informal or state that the visiting session was very effective even in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. For this reason, the service needs to be maintained and improved. And that effective stage evaluation is used to assess to the action extent to which the desired result have been achieved the implementation of digitalization policy. Efficiency is generally re related to the to the amount, amount of effort required to increase a certain level of effectiveness. In the study, the speed calculated from the unit of time of or the optimization of research is used to speed up the process. The implementation of this online-based public service encourages a significant increase in efficiency, including saving the time needed uh, in carrying out the service process, saving service facility, which are closely related the implementation of an environmentally friendly bureaucracy. Adequacy in public policy can be defined as the goal that have been achieved or perceived as adequate. That is acceptable and at least average in various dimensions. Adequacy relates to the uh, efficiency to which a level of effectiveness and satisfies the need, value, or opportunity that give rise to the problem. From this understanding, it can be con concluded that education adequacy is still related to effectiveness by measuring or predicting how far exceeded it can be considered that in quality aspect is not your uh, significant impact. Responsiveness in public policy can be interpreted as a response to an activity conduct conducted by the provider of the service, that is the government. This, may, this mean the response of public policy target to the implementation of policy. Observation also need conducted the res the response of the community after the impact of the policy has begun to to be felt in positive form in the form support or negative form in the form rejection. The res the responsiveness criteria criterion is important because an analysis that can satisfy all other criteria effectiveness effectiveness, efficiency, adequacy, equity. Still, it does not address actual need of the group so benefit from a policy. Accuracy, accuracy is desired result or goal that is truly useful or valuable from this policy to the community, which is the is then analysis to determine the extent to which this goal has been implemented and has been felt by the community. In this online service process, it is successful if a policy can be seen 
yeah. from the policy objective that are actually achieved. Useful and valuable to the target group, having the impact of change in accordance with the mission of policy. Based on interview conducted, this policy is very appropriate. Conclusion. The result saw that the evaluation of the digital transformation policy in as in administrative service based on six criteria, namely effectiveness, efficiency, education, equity, responsive, and accuracy, could identify existing condition. Defending from informant outside the digitalization world was effective and efficiency, especially in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. For this reason, the service need to be maintained and maintained and improved. Thank you. Dictionary. At dictionary. Thank you, Mr. Hari. Sense. Abstruseness refers to the quality or state of being difficult to understand or comprehend due to its complexity, obscure. Thank you, Mr. Hari. Next, we will move on to Mr. Muhammad Fadlan Hidayat from Bina Nusantara University. Okay, your time is seven minutes maximum, yeah, Mr. Muhammad. Oh, hello, everyone. My name is Mohamed Fadlan Hidayat. And today I want to present to you uh, what my team and I have done about our research paper with title Web Application as Media Information and Tourism Promotion in Thousand Islands, Pramuk Island in the Industrial Age 4.0. And my team consists of my, myself, Mohamed Fadlan Hidayat, and Mariani. Bill Kurniawan and Rafael Rafindo. So before we get into the result and discussion area for our research, I want to, I want to uh, tell you to tell you about our background for this research. Tourism is one of the driving wheels of the economy throughout the world, including Indonesia, which is which has a high attraction for locals and foreign tourists. There are even regions that are relied solely on tourism activities. For the economy, Pramuka and Panggang Island are part of the administrative area of the Thousand Islands. Just like other islands in the Thousand Islands, Panggang and Pramuka Island are islands that rely on tourism as one of their economy activities. And many of them provide lodging services to escort, sell local specialty for tourists, and many others. Rumah Hijau is one of the MSME locals that manage tourism activities on Pramuka and Panggang Island. But Rumah Hijau community still use manual methods for sell services of tour package such as homestay, tourist activities, and sale of their special localities. This make their services ineffective and inefficient, such as customer data collection, which is still written in books, and customer queue that takes a long time. And based on it, Rumah Hijau community needs an information system that can support the processing of order data quickly, accurately, and precisely, and provide convenience for their admin, for their admin in terms of services. This research aims to create a website that can make it easier for customers to get information on package booking, ticket reservation, departure schedule, um, uh, information about local specialty, and homestay availability. Next is the, the method that were used for this research. And for collecting the data, we use descriptive research. And the first one is observation. We make direct observation of activities on Pramuka and Pangang Island so that we can record the result of this observation and from this observation activity, we can find out the problem that we face. 
and the second one is interview. To obtain complete information, we conducted a question and answer method regarding tourism activities on Panggang and Pramuka Island. The resource person is a local community organization that has been managing tourism activities there, namely Rumah Hijau. And the last one is literature study. In addition to conducting observation and interview activities, the, we also conducted literature study through like, literature or references in the library. The next method that we used to develop this website that we use waterfall method. The first method is analysis where we where we uh, do the requirement gathering and second is design phase. Next one is integration or coding the, the design process and the fourth one is testing the application and the last one is maintenance the application. And here's our for result and discussion topic. And for the website implementation, we have create some menu. And the first menu that I want to show you is the first one is home menu. Home menu is the first menu they, that tourists can see and what is happening or what things that are or that were selling in Pramka or Pagang Island. And if tourists want to book homestay, they can go to homestay menu and find what is the suitable homestay for them. And the third menu is the culinary menu. This is the place for tourists if they want to find food from locals. They also can ordering the food through the website. And the third menu is the is the destination website. If tourists want to choose what uh, what are the packages or tour packages that are that are available on the day, they can go to the destination destination menu and choose the the, the package that. Uh, really suitable for them. And the fifth menu is the souvenir menu. This menu is the place uh, for tourists to find local specialties, and if there, if there are things that uh, they are like, they can order from the website. We also had conducted the training for the locals. The audiences of the training are locals from Rumah Hijau. Then maybe uh, someday uh, the audience want to be the admin. Or the user of this website. Here are the conclusion of this research. Tourism activities must be supported by every party, especially tourism activities managed by local MSME. This website aims to help promote and manage tourism activities managed by Rumah Hijau MSME on Pramuka and Pangang Island. This, web this website was also welcomed by the SME players that are is expected to help increase tourism activities on Pramuka and Pangang Island and improve the economy resident. And I think that's all. Thank you, um, Mr. Muhammad Fadlan. Um, next, we will move into Mr. Usmar. Mr. Usmar, are you here? Hello, Mr. Usmar. Mr. Usmar. Okay, we will cut, Mr. Usmar. Um, so, um, ladies and gentlemen, do you have any question for our first, uh, five, our first four, four presenters? Do you have any questions for them? Okay, I will um asking the um, Miss Kania. Miss Kania, are you here? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Um, I will. I will have one question uh, yes. from the participants that you already observed. Are they actually social media user or um, they know nothing about it? And um, if they don't know nothing about it, how you start to teach them about the social media? Yeah, so we have, uh, it's uh, more than eight actually for the participants and then we split uh for those uh women's 
as uh, one part of the the participants that already know about Instagram, but using for daily content, not uh, for the business content. And then the another part uh, participants, it's really they don't know about uh, Instagram, just uh, mouth to mouth. Uh, so we just uh, focus to uh, the the two parts uh, with the different uh, treatment. It's just like that. Okay, thank you. That's very interesting, Miss Kania. Um, next, um, I will call again, Miss. Uh, we'll moving into our um second five presenters. Um, Miss Nur Kalisa, are you here? You're not here. Mr. Yasef Irmansia from Mustafa University. Okay. Um, Mr. Ali Frian Wijaya from Mustafa University. Yes, I'm here, Miss. Okay. You will be the first. Um, Ali Frian Wijaya. Then um, is Novalia Agung Warjito Ardoyo from Mustafa University here? Novalia Agung. Okay, you are not here. Um, Miss Rani Puspita from Bina Nusantara University. Yes. Miss Rani Puspita, you are number six after Mr. Ali Frian Wijaya. Um, Miss Fabrina Mustika Ekawati from Mustafa. Not here. Um, Mr. Hendy Prihanto. Hendy Prihanto from Mustopo. Okay, not here. Miss Faisa Astella Ramadani from Mustopo University. Faisa Astella Ramadani. Okay. Mr. Raja Erlan Hamzah from Mustopo University. Raja Erlan. Okay. Uh, Mr. Riantori. Uh, Raja Erlan was here. Hello, Miss. Okay, okay. okay. Raja Erlan, I'm here. Thank you. Okay, thank you. You will be number seven, yeah. Raja Erlan. Um, Mr. Riantori. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. You. you will be number eight after Raja Erlan. Um, Priyam Bodo Bagus Artanto from Budi Luhur University. Yeah, saya. Yeah. Hadir. Oh ya, oke. Saya di sini. Oke, you will be number nine. Oke, okay. sure. Oke. Okay. Um, Miss Reva Ragam Santika. Yes, I'm here, Miss. Oke, okay, you will be number ten. Thank you. Thank you. So we will be, we will be started from Mr. Ali Frian Wijaya. Oke, okay, sir. Oke. Okay. If you're ready, the screen is yours, Mr. Ali. May I help to share the screen, Mr. Ali? Uh, sorry, you are muted, Mr. Ali. Not my YouTube. Um, may I help you to share the screen? Okay, okay, sir. Okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Let me introduce myself. My name is Ali Frian Mijaya. I'm from Universitas Profesor Dr. Mustopo, Jakarta. Uh, I have a paper, the name is Clinic Image and Patient Visits the Service Digital Marketing Connection in Clinic uh, Pratama Aka Medical Center. In this paper, have uh, some phenomenon or background which are health is an important factor and a need for every human being, medical laboratory technologies, There has been a fluctuation in the number of patient visit Aka Medical Center. The Aka Medical Center less known 
by public uh, based on uh, my explanation or phenomenon that have been studied the researcher consider it necessary to conduct an empirical study that reveals the influence of service quality and the role of digital through company image on visiting interest with the digital click image and the patient visit the service digital marketing connection at Pratama Clinic Aka Medical Center Jakarta okay. next Uh, based on the explanation of the existing problems, the objective to be achieved in the research are as follow: have a uh, seven uh, seven problem, which are the impact of service quality and corporate image, uh, then the, the effect of digital marketing on corporate image. Next. Uh, based on description description of the background research objective and previous studies a framework uh, from work of to as, uh, as in this picture was prepared namely service quality and digital marketing as exodus uh, endogen sorry exogenous variable but influence but in but interest of visiting as a endogenous variable mediated by corporate image as an intervening variable and I, I have seven hypotheses okay next uh, place and time of research the study was conducted at the Aka Medical Center primary clinic from November 2022 to June 2023 this research population consisted uh, of patient at the Aka Medical Center primary clinic numbering 3574 individuals as of the year 2022 the sample size for this study was determined using Slovin's theory with a 10% margin of error resulting in a sample size of approximately 97.28 which was rounded up to 100 next uh, my methods analysis technique I use a PLS a partial least square because PLS is a type of analysis that help us understand connection between different things in our data next uh, I I have a for a respondent characteristic first uh, among uh, uh, about uh, gender and education and occupation and self and occupation okay next uh, for the descriptive analysis of research variable have a good a good score so this this variable good for extend the Analysis. Analysis. Next, uh, result of the effective measurement model test outer model, and this is inner model. Have two r square value and f square value. Uh, r square value based on the result of data processing in the table above. It can be seen that there are two variables that have a moderate contribution to the r square value in the research model namely the F square value of the service quality variable on company image uh, 25.9% next digital marketing on company image namely uh, 29.9% meanwhile the variable of service quality digital marketing and company image on visiting interest have a small a, uh, a small effect which are 10.1% 7.8 person and 9.9.8 uh, person and okay next hypothesis testing uh, have to direct uh, effect and in indirect effect in direct effect have a good good value because uh, all of the hypothesis have uh, 
uh, 2% uh, under to under 5% we value under 5% we value it can be conduct it can be conduct all variable has a, have a significant impact on the com- on the variable next the conclusion service quality has a significant and positive impact on corporate image digital marketing significantly influence corporate image service quality has a significant and positive impact in visitor interest digital marketing significantly influence visitor interest corporate image significantly influence visitor interest service quality mediated by corporate image influence visitor interest digital marketing mediated by corporate image influence visitor Okay, thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Mr. Alif. Yes, me. Next My year. Pleasure. Next year, going to uh, Miss Rani Puspita from Binanus Antara University. Can you share your video by yourself or you need help from the operator? Miss Rani. I'm sorry, the voice from your video presentation are not heard on my screen. Uh, the video is not working well for the voice. Okay. Uh, sorry to interrupt. I think the sound is not clear to hear. May I help you to share the video? Yes, I need help. Okay. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. At today's conference, allow me to present my research entitled Digital Marketing and Business Development of Micro Small Medium Enterprises, or MSMEs, the Mamima. Before that, let me introduce myself. My name is Rani Puspita, and I am lecturer at Bina Nusantara University. This paper presented by me and assessed by my college, Cindy Rahayu. Okay, the outline for today's presentation includes uh, introduction. I will explain the background and problems in the research. Methodology, I will explain the method used um, in this research. Discussion to discuss research results and conclusions uh, about whether the objective have been achieved in the research results. Okay, let's start with introduction. Um, according to the research, in the last eight years, MSMEs entrepreneurs have continued to increase from 52.9 million to 59 million. The Ministry of Cooperative and MSMEs note that in the three years of President Joko Widodo's administration, the ratio of entrepreneurs to Indonesia's population has increased from 1.56% in 2014 to 3.1% at the end of 2016. The thing that has the most influence on the continued growth of MSMEs in Indonesia is the size of consumption. 
the consumption the consumptions is not only a factor in the growth of MSMEs but also about economic growth. In the same period, the growth of MSMEs in Indonesia was also driven by advance in digital technology. This digital technology makes it easier, easier for the consumer best described above to access this MSMEs. In the last five years, internet uh, penetration in Indonesia has increased from 82 million to 143 million. Judging from the type of business, one of the large type of MSM is business um, is the food or culinary industry. Therefore, because our main target is MSM is, and according to the research results, um, the large and most influential MSM is our MSM is in culinary sector. Therefore, my college and I decided to choose the Purmami Ma MSMS in the culinary sector. Okay, the various limitations faced by the Purmami Ma MSMS include lack of development. The owner feels um, that her business is just there, decreasing during COVID then increasing again after COVID, but there is no big clip to make the business more bigger and then lack of knowledge to make the business more bigger um, like she has fear of the risk and being in a comfort zone because she can pay um, employees and also seems to be able able to uh, fulfill her desire to work and then conventional and lack of use um, the technology. And then this is um, the methodology. The main phase is preparation phase, which is um, divided into three parts, um, observations, meeting, and then model arrangement, and then um, implementation phase, uh, which is divided into two parts, PKM program socialization and then PKM training and counseling for MSMEs and then monitoring and evaluation stage. Okay, this is um, based on the problem and observation met by research researchers. The research results obtained were in the form of digital marketing training and counseling for the Purmamima, training provided by research person regarding um, content creation. And this is um, sector and detail that you can um, see, technology and business. Um, we hope that Dapur Mamima will increase knowledge about digital marketing for MSMS. Um, and then in the human resource sector, um, they can manage the team better and then starting to create social media account like Instagram, TikTok shop, Shopee and others, and then create a website, website domain. And this is the conclusions about our research. This research use several methods, including preparation stage, implementation, and then monitoring and evaluation stage. The preparation stage is divided into three parts namely observations, meetings, and model preparations. Then the implementation stage is divided into three, two parts, including program socialization and then implementation um, of training and counseling. Then the final stage is monitoring and evaluation. The research of uh, this uh, research found several important things, including increasing knowledge about digital marketing for the Purmamima MSM is being able to manage the team better, starting to create social media, and then also creating a website domain, which turns out to be very important for product branding for this MSM is. Um, and then, okay, this is um, all I can say to all of you. If you have any question, you can email me at lani.puspita at binus.ac.id um, or to my college. 
cindy.hayu at binus.ac.id. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Rani Puspita. Uh, we are moving on to Mr. Raja Erlan Hamza from Mustafa University. Raja Erlan. Yeah, Raja Arlan is not here. Okay, so we are moving on to Mr. Rian Tari. Okay. Okay. Should I share my presentation or from the committee? Oh, do you want us to help you to share the screen? If you don't mind, please help me. Okay, Mr. Zaki, may you please, Mr. Riantori, to share the video? Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hey everybody, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for the committee of ICCD 2023 for letting me share my presentation today. Without further ado, uh, let me share my presentation. Okay, the title of our presentation is The Implementation of Religious Tolerance in Campus Environment, a Community Service Study in the Context of uh, Higher Education. Uh, our theme consists of uh, Ibu Elisteti Rusmiati, uh, myself, uh, Rian Tori, and Paiman Harjo and Budi Harjo. We are from Universitas Professor Dr. Mustafa Bragama. Next, uh, the introduction in this era of globalization. Our society is increasingly, increasingly interconnected through various media and technologies. In this context, higher education institutions play a crucial role in shaping both view and societal values. One significant challenge faced by universities is managing religious diversity on campus. In Indonesia, a country with high religious diversity Creating an inclusive and tolerant campus environment is a necessity. Religious tolerance is not only a value that individuals should possess, but it should also be reflected in the policies and practices of higher education institutions. Uh, what is community service uh, on religious tolerance? By understanding the complexity of religious tolerance and its implication in higher education, Community service activities focus on three main aspects. First, integrating religious tolerance values into the curriculum, equipping students with a profound understanding of religious diversity. Second, organizing interfaith dialects that foster cross-belief understanding through open and respectful conversation. And third, constructing places of worship for various religions within the campus creating a physical environment that reflects harmony and respect for diversity. Uh, the method A, analysis and planning. First, identification of challenge. In that analysis of the challenges of religious harmony faced in the campus environment, including potential conflicts and tensions that need to be addressed. Second, consultation with stakeholders. Uh, discussion and consultation with students, faculty, staff, and community members to understand their perspective, gather input, 
and build collective support. B, implementation of religious tolerance programs. First, a development of inclusive curriculum. The teaching team designed an inclusive in curriculum module that includes the religious tolerance values, develop interactive teaching methods, and integrated religious tolerance materials into existing course. Second, interfaith dialogue, organizing a series of interfaith dialogues involving students, faculty, and community members to create open discussion spaces, address misconceptions, and strengthen cross-religious understanding. Third, construction of places of worship, planning and implementing the construction of places of worship, representing, representing various religions of campus, involving active participation from students, faculty, and the surrounding community. C, monitoring and evaluation. The community service team continuously monitored and progress of activities, collected feedback from participants, and conducted regular evaluation to assess the effectiveness and impact of the implemented activities. The method, uh, the, the next method is D, dissemination of result and learning. First, preparation of report and scientific articles, compiling activity reports, uh, uh, findings and lessons learned uh, during the implementation process. Second, dissemination of result, organizing dissemination event on campus, seminars or regional workshop to share the activity result with the academic community and the general public, as well as building collaboration with similar institution. And the result and discussion, the implementation of community service activities with the term of uh, religious tolerance implementation in the campus environment was carried out through three activities, through inclusive curriculum, interfaith dialect, and the construction of places of worship, at Professor Dr. Mustafa University. This activity was conducted with dedication and collaboration among students, faculty, and members of the surrounding community. It has been an inspiring journey that created a campus environment promoting tolerance and diversity. Uh, this is the example of interfaith dialogue, enhancing understanding of religious tolerance among faculty members. Uh, we can see through the picture. And this also the example of uh, temple inauguration. This is uh, for Hinduism. Place temple inauguration, the place of worship at the Bintaro campus. And for the conclusion, first, increase understanding and awareness. Participants in this activity experience a significant improvement in understanding the values of religious tolerance. They now perceive the diversity of religious belief as a richness, not a barrier. They understand that harmony. Uh, don't worry, it has been seven minutes. Should we stop the presentation or should we continue? Hello? It's okay. Thank you. Okay, yeah, thank you, Mr. Riantari. Um, sorry for the interruption. We have to cut you. So next we will move into um Mr. Priambodo Bagus Artanto from Budiluhur University. So Priambodo. Yes, I am. Hey, yes, I'm yeah. here. Yeah. Can you share your uh, screen or you want us to help you to share your video? Um, I think I need help here. Okay. Uh, Mr. Zaki, would you uh, help Mr. Biambudu to share the video? Thank you.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, let me introduce our group. They are Selamat Mujija, Afri Nasari, Astrid Dita Merina Hakim, and me myself, Priyamba Dato Gusartanta. Our discussion is about strengthening understanding of MSME, financial management in Johar Baru District, Central Jakarta. Partner for Community Service Activity Program is the Johar Baru District Office, Central Jakarta. Johar Baru District provides proactive service to all level of society that people can take fully advantage of all the trainer programs. The Jack trainer programs are training, mentoring, licensing, marketing, financial reporting, and capital facilities. The problem phase is MSME, especially beginner MSME who need special treatment they need. They need to understand the procedure before applying Jack Brenner programs. The district office improves some service for novice MSME if by giving them a glimpse by, of business management before they can be included in the Jack Brenner programs. This activity aims to provide knowledge dissemination about business management for employees of the Johar Baru district office. This activity is designed for six months and will be implemented through the activity stage, namely preparation, implementation, and evaluation. Initial observation activities were carried out on Thursday, 1st December 2022, to coordinate synchronous and fragment training materials by involving partners. Activities to strengthen understanding of business financial management were carried out on Monday, 17 April 2023. The material was given in form of the discussion. This activity expect to provide additional knowledge and insight into MSME financial management and socialize simple booking application that MSME can use. Knowledge and, under, knowledge and understanding about financial management will be transferred to MSME in Johar Baru District who needs it. This knowledge with, with transfer will improve the service of the Johar Baru District Office. The activities participants were Johar Baru District Office Community Service Section employees. The activity began with an introduction and understanding of bookkeeping to the participant, which emphasized the importance of financial management so they could find out the profit or loss position of the business. The training continued, providing outreach about bookkeeping application that MSME can utilize. Based on discussion with participants in community service activities held at the Harbour Office, the following information was obtained. First, most participants increasingly understand the problem faced by novice MSME would come to the district office, namely regarding financial management. Second, after carrying out training activities, participants can identify recording problems especially regarding bookkeeping grouping use. Third, socialist, socializing activity, activities for the new financial management application are limited to introduction, introdu introducing the application only. The practice of its use has yet to be carried out due to limited time available. However, Participant motivation, motivation is increasing to improve service for guests as well, especially MSME. Conclusion First, implement activities to strengthen understanding of bookkeeping at the Johar Baru District Office, attended by community service employees. The material focus on understanding bookkeeping grouping and how the bookkeeping process is recorded. Second, participants in this activity are increasingly 
aware of the need to understand bookkeeping records to improve service, especially when invited to discuss business finance to satisfy guests. Last one is it's recommend that this community service program be continue with the direct business assistant to MSME, especially beginners. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you, uh, Mr. Priyamboda Bagus Arkanto. Thank you, now we, are, now we are moving on to um, Ms. Reva Ragam Santika. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Um, uh, I would like to uh, ask for the operator to play my video, if you don't mind, Miss. Okay. Mr. Zaki, would you mind to help? Yeah, sure. Hello everyone, how are you doing? It's good to see you all. I'm honored to be here to present about my community service activities. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Reva Ragam Santika. I'm from Information Technology Faculty in Universitas Budi Luhur. The purpose of my presentation is to share about implementing compositional thinking in elementary school, ICT education, and evaluation using the Kirkpatrick method. In this presentation, I will start by show you a list of content of my presentation. There is a four session, first about introduction, second about method, third about result and discussion, and the fourth about conclusion. I'm also providing uh, some examples to help illustrate my points. And here is my community service team. First, it's myself, Refaragam Santika. I'm a computer science tutor and also Jenny Anissa as a social science tutor. This is about the introduction about rational problem. There's a five problem that can solve about computational thinking. First about insufficient exposure to technology. Second about lack of development of logic skills. Third about limitation in understanding abstract concept. Four about lack of critical problem solving skills and the last one about constraint in programming language usage. The importance of compositional thinking is a background indicating the importance of compositional thinking in elementary school student ICT learning as the technology continue to, to play an increasingly pivotal role in various aspects of our life. First, First, the integration of information and communi communication technology ICT education becomes crucial. Second, characterized characteris by problem solving skill, logical reasoning, and algorithmic thinking emerge as a fundamental component in preparing students for the challenge of the digital era. Cultivating computational thinking skill early on is essential for their ability to navigate and engage meaningfully with ICT tools and also concept. Compositional thinking provides a structural approach to problem solving, fostering logical reasoning and analytical skill that are transferable to various ICT application. The demand for the workforce with strong ICT competencies continues to grow, introducing Computational thinking at the elementary school level prepare groundwork for future ICT specialists, but also empower our students with a set of skills that are increasingly relevant in today's digital society. And last, about foundation for building the necessary skill and mindset to thrive in ever evolving technology landscape. And now we'll continue in method. Before, before we start to using compositional thinking, we, do, we did the preliminaries, visited the partner location and the school to interview which can identify issues and determine appropriate for students at SD Islam Al Azhar Suhada that can solve problem solving skills using compositional thinking technique, especially in systematically solving complex problems using computer science concept and also techniques. In compositional thinking, we have a four stage First is about decomposition. It's a breaking down large complex problem into smaller manageable problem. Second about pattern recognition. It's providing challenge tasks to be solved 
either auto autonomously or with assistance. And the abstraction, the third of all abstraction, focusing on important information and disregarding irrelevant details. And the last about algorithm, we are developing a step-by-step -step solution or a set of rules to follow to solve the problem. And for Kirkpatrick evaluation, we have a four stage. First about the reaction, learning, behavior, and also impact. Now we'll continue to resolve and discussion based on the activities conduct we found findings below. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic condition starting in March and continuing through April 2022, large-scale social restriction PSBB are still in effect in Jakarta. The implementation of the compulsory thinking introduction training to enhance student learning skill at the SD Islam al Azhar Suhada South Jakarta planned offline but has to be adapted to an online by Zoom meeting. And the second, the training schedule of the regular time school hours and the students were joining via Zoom from their homes. All students were able to directly participate and practice under the guidance of tutor during this training. And the third, commercial thinking training can be able to enhance student learning skill at SD Islam Al Azhar Suhada, South Jakarta. And we'll step to evaluation training. In this reaction level, participant reaction to the training implementation, we have five indicators. First, about training facility has a score about 93.3%. The organizing committee about 93.3%, accommodation about 86.67%, curriculum about 86.67%, and participant about 66.67%. And about reaction level, participation reaction to the speakers is about half a to two indicators, tutor's knowledge and also tutor's attitude. In the tutor's knowledge, we have a score about 66.67% and tutor's attitude, we have a point about 93.33%. And we come to learning level. In learning level, we have a three indicators, change in attitude, knowledge acquired, and skill developed. In change in attitude, we have a six indicator. First, about responsibility, has a point about 66%. Point due to the regulation, we have to stop the video because it has been in seven minutes. Okay, uh, we're sorry to cut your video, Miss uh, Rafa. Um, okay, yeah, thank you. Um, ladies and gentlemen, do you have any questions? Uh, uh, Miss Bernadetta, sorry to interrupt. Uh, I yeah. think uh, the representative of Mr. Raja Erla Hamza is already here. Yes, I'm yeah. sorry, Miss, uh, because I have uh, ascending uh, more than one article so <laughs> i'm from at uh, room three and next <laughs> uh, i'm before uh, at the room two and then i'm here in the room three <laughs> okay i was joining are... so uh, miss chitra is uh, one group with miss raja erlan Mr. yes raja, raja erlan and rafi Tasya. okay okay thank you thank you Mr. Zaki, would you mind to share the yeah, okay. video of um, Ms. Chitra Eka and Mr. Roger Erland? Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi, everyone. Uh, good afternoon. My, I introduce myself. My name is Chitra Eka Putri, and we are team is Rafli Pratsia Ananda, 
Rialdo Rizki and El Taruan and the Raja Erlan Hamza. We are from Mustafa University and we are presented about our title about the paper. The title is the effect of social media Instagram user on the product priority and the product awareness of Bank Indonesia cash object payment system Chris. Point, a uh, big five point about the background of the research. And the point number one is the digital era that is carries a contemporary side change the communication pattern of Bank Indonesia. And BSPI 2025 that is fully oriented toward developing a digital financial ecosystem. And the final target of BSPI 2025 is really related to uh, the long-term policy direction of Chris implementations. And the next point is the responsibility to conduct education and explanation of the digital payment accepted. And the last point in there is a still a lack of awareness uh, and future socialization uh, related to Chris to the public, uh, especially for the Instagram using. And this is a research problem we have in there an effect of using social media, Instagram on the product virality and the product awareness of uh, Indonesia. And the research uh, objectiveness is knowing the effect of the using a media social Instagram carried by Indonesian product virality and the product awareness bank Indonesia uh, or Chris and the research benefit also, scientific benefit is providing usable contributions to the development of communication science, especially uh, in the field of public relations, applying the role of social media in company in the uh, world of work. And the practical benefits can be used as a reference for other similar research. And we have a theory and concept and also frame of mind. In here, we have a frame of mind is we have a three variable, a variable X. The indicator is context, communication, connection, and collaborations. And the variable Y1 is credibility, productivity, and the integration and the tasks. And the variable Y2 is top mind, product recall, product recognition, and aware of the problem. And the theory and concept we have in, and we use in this research is computer media communication, CMC, and the concept of media system. And research method, we have using a positivist paradigm and quantitative uh, approach. Uh, the type of research used is explanatory or confirmation research and use the survey method and the population on this uh, uh, on this research is was uh, namely of active follower of Bank Indonesia is 1000.100. 15 namely and the sample is uh, 95 people based on the sloping formula and the sampling technique we is a uh, purposive sampling which is including in the non-probability sampling technique and the data collection technique we use a primary data tracking questionnaire to active follower of bank donation instagram and the secondary uh, data BE website or Bank Indonesia website, book, journal, previous tests. And the data analysis and the test, testing technique is validity test, reliability test, simple linear, regression test, and determination co coefficient test, and the t test. And here we have a uh, data respond, respondents criteria. And we have for the data of the gender is. Uh, the female respondent have a more bigger than the male respondent. The female respondent have 16.3.2% uh, and the male respondent uh, have a 36.8%. And the age, the data is uh, seven, 17 years to 13 years. And the less education, we have a strata one is the biggest number. It's 16.5.3%. And the professions, we have a private sector employee. Uh, we have in here 13.5.8%. And the uh, student, 2.1%. 
And this is the validity test. The question items are declared valid if they get the result of the R count, uh, uh, R table with a critical value of 10 percent, namely 0 0.375. Seven, five, and the total of 13 question items are declared valid in accordance with applicable provisions. And the variable case, we have uh, three variable. Social media is variable X, project virality is variable Y1, and the product awareness is variable Y2. And next, we have a simple linear regression task table and the coefficient of determination task table. The coefficient of determination R square is a, a 0 0.762 or in fact 76.2 percent and the coefficient of determination R square is 0 0.458 or in fact 45.8 percent. Okay and this is uh, the t-test uh, table based on the calculation research in the is the uh, knowing the singular value is a point uh, 0 0.001 0 0.000 singular 0 0.05 which mean HA is uh, accepted and HO is rejected and based on the calculation research is knowing that the singular value 0 0.00 uh, and the bigger singular 0 0.05 which mean HA is accepted and HO is rejected. And discussion. Uh, okay, sorry, Miss Sita, to stop the video because due to the regulation, we have to Okay, it's no problem because the video is for 10, nine, 10 minutes here. Okay. Yeah. The rule is only seven minutes. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, Miss Bernate. It's okay, Ms. Citra. We are sorry to cut your uh, video. Um, um, ladies and gentlemen, I only have the single name here on my list from the committee. So if you are the part of the group and I don't uh, call your name, please say that you are um, in the group with who. Okay, like uh, Ms. Citra is the, is the part of the uh, Mr. Raja Erlan. So if you are... Uh, writing your article in the group, I need you to inform me that you are the part of the group. So if you, um, if the person that in our list cannot come or cannot make it on this session, you may um, change the rules and then you um, become the speaker of the of the group. Thank you. So um, so far, ladies and gentlemen, do you have any questions? Before we move on to another presenters, okay. Um, Miss Reva Ragam Santika, are you still here? Miss Reva. Okay, we are moving on to another um presenter. Is uh, Mr. Nexon Alexander Pinontuan or the group here from Bin from Budiluhur University? Sorry, sorry, Miss. I, I I'm here. I already present. Oh yeah. Okay. I have um question for you. Just a brief question. Uh, why do you use the Kirkpatrick method to evaluate the computational thinking, and why you're um doing it or concentrate uh the evaluation on the elementary school? Well, first of all, uh, we're using Kirkpatrick um method because. Because I, when I saw when oh sorry, sorry when I read in the in the journal, it that method is it's it's good to is to evaluation uh the training, and then and then also for the uh, why I focus with the ICT uh, education because uh because that is was a, a partner is a partner uh need that. Uh, they need to to what say to to help the the children to to easy to to learn about uh, computer especially for programming so i choose the computational thinking for the method okay thank you mr refa okay you're welcome okay 
Okay. And next we will have um next at Alexander Penonton from Budi Luhur University. You know here, um Miss Archita Desiana from Budi Luhur University. Yes, uh, I'm here. Okay. Okay, Miss Archita, and then um again I will call Miss Nurholiso. You know here, um Mr. Yasef Firmansia. Um, Novalia Agung Warjito Ardoyo. Yes, I'm okay. here. Yes, thank you. Okay, thank you. So, um, Fabrina Mustika Ekawati, Miss Fabrina. Okay, Miss Fabrina. Then, Fabrina, Miss Faisa Astella Ramadani. Um, Mr. Usmar? Mr. Hendy Prihanto? From Mustafa University? Hendy Prihanto? Okay, so please, um, the first is, um, wait. Okay, the first one is Miss Achita Desiana. Okay, thank you for the opportunities. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, would you mind to the operator to play my video, please? afternoon. My name is Arkita Desia and I will present implementation of e-governance toward village digitalization movement in Wanagiri village, Sakati Pandeglang. Wanagiri village is located in the Sakati sub-district Pandeglang Regency. This village is situated, situated three kilometers from the sub-district capital. 23 kilometers from the Regency capital and 43 kilometers from the provincial capital of Banten. The geographical condition of Wanakiri village provides it with potential worth exploring further for their economic development. Village is the front line of public service at the lowest level of government. Good public service is crucial for the success of economic development. However, several issues need to be addressed, such as the need for more skills among village officials. Poor office administration, management, and info insufficient information about the village. Uh, this is a nine Wanagiri village public service problem. One, the division of tasks is unclear, and the village government officer is unable to utilize time effectively. Additionally, there is no specialization in the work system. Number two, the lack of information about Wanagiri village, such as monograph and types of service, has resulted in a lack of knowledge within the community about the service provide. Three, the limited abilities and skill of the village government officer in mastering system to improve service in their community. For the shortage of manpower in the village compared to the volume of the police, disrupt the effectiveness of service. Five, the government and archive are not organized systematically, resulting in time-consuming retrieval of archives. Six, there is a lack of infrastructure, including computers, printers, and a scanner as a supporting archiving tool. Seven, the outdated data makes current work difficult. It, the community has the impression that the service is too complicated. Nine, there are differences in the abilities of each individual village officer. Uh, the method uh, of the implementation of this PKM activity is designed and will be carried 
out through counseling, training, and mentoring, trials, monitoring, and evaluation that are planned for a period of one month, consisting of four stages of activities. For first stage activity plan, there's a four phase two. E governance training for selected officer member. Number B, assisting selected officer member to upgrade their skill. C, establishing village administration system. D, implementing village administration system. Second phase activity plan. A, providing counseling on the essence of village government administration. B, introducing the village administration system application. Uh, the result uh, is like this. Preparation is carried out by discussing activity plans. Discussion with Wanagiri Village official on June 19, 2023 with the head of Saketi Subdistrict Mr. Muhadi and District Secretary Bapak Indra. The initial implement, implementation of community service activities implementing e-government in creating good governance was carried out on Wednesday, June 26. The training was conducted at the Wanagiri Village Hall and attended by 12 village officials and assistants from the RT and RW. This is the problem, solution, and result. Problem number one, the solution is give work system management workshop to increase productivity productivity and provide service to the community and the result is 10 Wanagiri village official officer perform task well according to assigned workloads. Problem number two, the solution is create an online application for public service and the result is save 10 minutes of work compression time and reduce community queue in managing official letters. Problem number three, the solution is uh, there's two options, create a community service application system to update the village monograph. And number two is socialize with all village officials and involve neighborhood association in data collection and update. And the result is availability of an up-to-date monograph database system ready for use as reference for regional development. Number two is all, ne all neighborhood associations are able to collect and update data accurately through the system. Problem number four, the solution is uh, two-way, create a Wanagiri Village website and provide training content creation of the Wanagiri Village website. And the result is Wanagiri Village website easily accessible. Number two, all RT and RW officer are able to collect and update, update data uh, accurately. Problem number five, the solution is create an administration application system to facilitate efficient task completion. And the result is achieve faster, safer, and standardized work compared to manual work completion. Problem number six, uh, the solution is uh, training to improve com computer operating skill. And the result is 10 village official officer improve their computer operating skills correctly. This is the design of the website. Uh, this is the another look about the website uh, and we have the evaluation tool the questionnaire respondent consists of 12 village official officers 7 rtrw assistants and 11 community members we test three satisfaction response it can be seen that 40 percent of participants express a very high level of satisfaction with the implementation of these activities while 50% of participants express satisfaction. Meanwhile, in satisfaction response to website building and coaching activity, there are some dissatisfaction uh, because there are some older individuals who prefer work manually. They struggle with technology and creating letters online would uh, pose a challenge for them, leading to their disagreement. Uh, this is all. Thank you. Okay, thank you, uh, Miss Archita Desia. Next, um, yeah. Next, uh, we'll have um, Mas Agung Ardoyo from Mustafa University. Yeah. 
Halo, oke. Okay. Uh, thank you, Dr. Bernadetta and everyone. Maybe I need help to play our video presentation. Mr. Zaki, please. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Agung. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Allow me, Novalia Agung Warjito Ardoyo, lecturer at the Faculty of Communication Science, Professor Dr. Mustafa Beragama University, collaborate with one of the students at the same faculty, Anissa Nurul Santi. We'll present a resume of research results entitled At We The Face Instagram, Using to get information and interest in visiting We The Face 2023. For the introduction, the rapid development of technology today has given rise to numerous new media such as the internet and smartphones, which play an important role in fulfilling daily communication and information needs. One of these new media is social media platform. Currently being popularly used is Instagram. Looks like Ismaya Life, an event organizer who managing We The Fest music event, uses Instagram to reach the audience. Ismaya hope that the audience can be understood all information by Instagram regarding the implementation and how to register for the event. Researchers argue that by maximizing the Instagram platform as the primary communication channel with users, it hope that the information needs can be fulfilled and influence followers' interest in visiting an event. The theories include new media theory and uses and gratification theory, focusing on the concept of social media, information needs, and visitation interest. So, this research aims to find out the impact of Instagram usage on information needs and visiting interest. It is hoped that this research can be a reference for Ismaya to increasing the effectiveness of using the Instagram. This research adopt a quantitative approach with a positivist paradigm and survey. The population of this study consists of Instagram followers of We The Face, with a sample size 100 respondents, are selected through simple random sampling technique. For the data analysis, involves simple regression analysis, t-test, and coefficient of determination test. Based on the results of data processing and analysis explained, it can be concluded that there is a significant influence between the use of Instagram at We The Face on fulfilling information needs by 69.9% and the remaining 30.4% is influenced by other variables not examined in this study. The regression coefficient for fulfilling information needs has a positive value of 0.483 for each additional variable using Instagram at WidowFace. Apart from that, the use of Instagram at WidowFace also has a significant influence of 59.2% on interest in visiting the 2023 WidowFace event and the remaining 40.8% is influenced by other variables or factors. The regression coefficient in the visiting interest variable also produce a positive value of 0.463 for each additional variable using Instagram at WidowFace. The direction of influence of variable X is positive on variables Y1 and Y2. As a conclusion, the results of the study indicate that Instagram usage variable or X variables has a significant positive effect on the information needs variable 
or Y1 and visiting interest or Y2. Ismaya can continue the use of Instagram to convey messages to their public. From the research results, it also can be concluded that new media theory and uses and gratification theory are still relevant to the current phenomenon of new media use. That's what we can present. Thank you for your attention. Especially thank you to the ICCD 2023 Organizing Committee. I hope we are always healthy and see you at the next conference. Terima kasih. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, um, Mr. Agung Ngardoyo. Um, next, we will have um, Miss Fabrina Mustika. Yes, Miss. Yeah. Mr. Zaki, uh, can I please uh, present my YouTube presentation, please? Okay, uh, Miss Febrina, do you want to share uh, by your own or may I help you? Uh, I, please help me to present my uh, YouTube journal, please. Okay. okay. Yeah, thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Fabrina Mustika Ekawati from Professor Dr. Mustopo Beragama. We can skip that. I would like to present internet of the general of the house is specifically regulated through presidential regulation number 26 of 2020. Internal audit follow up with a target of 50% achievement. However, the target only hit the number 37.21%. The data above has a big gap from the realization of Audit Board of the Republic of Indonesia follow-up which reached over 100%. This gap of number became the, fake, became the focus of Inspectorate 1 Audit Internal Activity. According to Fritz Heider, attribution theory is a theory that explains someone's behavior. Attribution theory states that individuals actively translate an event they experience using a form that makes sense and is consistent. Internal audit capability is internal audit ability to carry out supervisory activities supported by good supervision so that it can encourage quality supervision results in order to realize its role effectively. The internal audit capability models level consists of five levels. Level, five, level one, the capability level is called initial. Level two, called infrastructure. Level three, integrated. Level four, manage. And level five is called optimizing. According to Indonesian Government International Audit Standard 2014, internal audit is defined as an independent and objective activity in the form of providing assurance and consultancy, which are designed to provide added value and improve the operation of an organization. The, acti the activity helps organizations achieve their goals by using a systematic and regular approach to assess and improve the effectiveness of risk management, control and governance process included in an entire, included in internal audit activities are audit, evaluation, review, and monitoring. Meanwhile, consulting activities include providing consultancy, outreach, and assistance. This research uses a qualitative approach which is descriptive, analytical, comparative, focus on meaning, and the data obtained can be obtained through observations and document analysis. The Chief Inspectorate IHM is 3.24 where all elements at level 3 have been fulfilled and two elements at level 4 have been partially fulfilled. This means that the Chief Inspectorate is at level 3 of integrated IACM where risk management by compiling a risk register or risk map which will be a source of information and guidance in a preparing the annual risk-based supervision activity okay. program has been implemented. The results of the data analysis are in accordance with the 
with the grand theory of attribution which was coined by Fritz Heider, that human behavior is deviant and tends to benefit itself due to internal and external factors. Therefore, supervision and control are needed to ensure that organizational management or governance runs well, correctly and cleanly to achieve organizational goals. Apart from that, basically, individuals have a tendency to only do work that is their chief task in accordance with their position in the income they receive. When, there's, when there is other work that is not an obligation and is not contracted for, and the person concerned does not receive compensation from the additional work, the work tends to be ignored because it is deemed not to provide benefits for him. Conclusions. The implementation of internal audits required by Inspectorate 1 to complete the follow-up to inspection or supervision results is not yet optimal because Inspectorate 1 did, did not reach the target of audit internal follow-up target. Inspectorate 1, in implementing internal audit follow-up in accordance with the Indonesian government internal audit standard has obstacle and support for resolution, including unpredictable mandatory have not been accommodated in the annual audit internal activity program, findings and recommendations cannot be followed up due to different understanding and are not agreed upon by the client or work unit. The obligation to resolve the audit internal follow-up lies with the unit. Inspectorate 1 only has the obligation to monitor. The audit internal follow-up is not the key performance indicator of the unit, so the work unit does not feel it has an obligation to complete the audit internal follow-up. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Ms. Fabrina. Okay, um, any other presenter, ladies and gentlemen, do you have any questions? No, if you don't have any question, may I uh, may I ask uh, Mr. Novali Agung Warjito Ardoyo? Okay. Mas Agung, okay. Uh, Mr. Agung, were you attracted to make the uh, make we the fast as your case study? Okay. Uh, because we the fast is the program uh, is my life, which is is my life uh have uh public relation division so they using instagram or media social to get the attention the consumer so with that phenomenon i i think uh this this title is is uh is significant to to we uh, continuing to to get the 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 research okay thank okay. you mr yes. agung for your um, yeah. answer thank you thank okay. you okay um next we have um, from my list we only have two uh, presenter left first mr handy prihanto and the next is Mr. Osmar. Mr. Handy Prihanto, are you ready to present your presentation? I'm ready, ma'am. Ma oh, mbak. Okay, sorry, sorry. Okay, so, Miss Handy. Mr. Zaki, would you mind to help uh, Mbak Handy? to present the video. Yeah, okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Hello no, no, everyone. At this time, I'm uh, Hendy Prihanto uh, Usmar, Yudhistira Islamia Kamil, uh, Selviani and Sismiati. We from Faculty Ekonomi University Profesor Dr. Mustafa Beragama, University Dian Nusantara, and Sekolah Tinggi Tunas Nusantara. 
Mm. We'll present a topic about uh, community carried service carried out in the Ciputat Baru sub district with uh, the export and import. This activity was attended by approximately 15 participants from a various level of society. The aim of this activity uh, to provide insight into export and import, as well as provide and uh, provide an opportunity for people to try doing business Uh, using export media, especially to expand their business. The following uh, material is present during the activity. <clears throat> Thank you. Hopefully, it's useful. <laughs> export import, uh, getting to now uh, exp and exploring. Uh, present at uh, PKM. Uh, even for creative economic entrepreneur held in the Ciputa Timur uh, district south. Introduction, uh, no country in the world can fulfill its need on its own. Trade uh, corporation is one alternative for meeting uh, the needs of each uh, country. And then uh, the form of that corporation uh, can be realized uh, through export and import exim. <clears throat> At least a long time ago, export import has been carried out uh, with our Prophet uh, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Peace be upon him at the X12 uh, engaged in threat to Syria with Abu Talib, uh, his uncle. <clears throat> And then uh, export is uh, the activity of sending or shipping goods aboard, usually in large quantities for trading purpose and involves uh, custom, yeah, custom that is bought in uh, the country of origin and The destination country uh, import. Uh, this definition is the activity of bringing goods uh, into trading, uh, usually in large quantity for trading purpose and involves custom. Uh, custom that is as the supervisor of the entry and exit traffic uh, of goods in a country. And then uh, benefit of exim in your, our life. As for uh, give uh, benefit uh, first, expanding to the market of our business, increasing the country, region, exchange to server, expanding involvement, opportunities import benefit is uh, acquiring goods and service uh, that cannot be produced acquiring modern technology obtaining raw materials yes good uh, <clears throat> not a good trend in extreme uh, First, uh, petroleum or crude oil, gas, uh, mining commodities in the form of crude oil and gas. Non oil and gas goods are items that do not consist of crude oil and gas, such uh, as plantation, accrual, ag sorry, agriculture, livestock, uh, fisher, lease product, and non oil and gas mining result. It's can also uh, include uh, product from UMKM or small medium enterprise, such as uh, self-made car products. <laughs> And now, uh, 
we talk about uh, what should be now about export yeah. first the process of shipping goods by the exporter the process of submit a document by uh, exporters to the foreign exchange bank export participant and their document uh, and the last export procedure for chat is uh, we should uh, be now about uh, exim and then how is export procedure uh, step uh, then you must now uh, be taken by exporters when engaging in import the procedure uh, consists at of 12 a step a more than less yeah. uh, we can explain uh, first correspondence uh, and two contract maker and three uh, issue of letter of credit uh, this is uh, explanation for uh, step step uh, from uh, you must know uh, about uh, procedure uh, export and import Okay, sorry, I need to stop the video because due to the information, it has been for some minutes. Okay, thank you. Uh, Miss, uh, I need you to declare, I need you to reconfirm, is um, you are the part of the group of uh, Mr. Usmar as well? Or anyone here? part of Mr. Usmar uh, group to present? Mom, uh, yeah. Mr. Usmar and Hendi Prihanto, uh, one uh, team. Yeah, but in my list, there are uh, two title under Mr. Usmar and Mr. Hendi Prihanto. Yes. Yeah, so... I know them. There, there are and there are different titles. Yes, ready, yeah. ready, present. So, Mr. Usmar will not present. Will not present present their presentation. Mr. Usman will present. Mr. Usman, with present, ready. So Mr. Osmar will be present this presentation. Yes. No. Okay, Mr. Zaki, would you mind to share the video? Okay, sure. Mr. Osmar, would you uh, respond? Mr. Usmar? Uh, Mr. Usmar, uh, I'm so sorry because the committee tell me if you are not present or you are not um, deliver your presentation or deliver your video, we will skip you. Hello, Mr. Usmar? This will be the last call. Okay, we will cut off here. Um, Mazeki, thank you. We, we will not um, play the video of Mr. Usmar. Um, so um, the presenter that stay, I um, thank you, Marchita. You very um, dedicated here. Um, so I need um, all the presenter that left here to open the cam because we will take the picture to document our um, present today. We will wait for you to open your cam if you can't. Uh, Mr. Zaki, you may help us to count, yeah? Okay. Hello. Okay. Hello, uh, Junior Harry.
Okay. Mr. Zaki, would you mind to count? Okay, I will count uh, three, two, one. All right, one more. Three, two, one. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, the presenters and the participants. Um, before we leave the room, I will um, make a brief summary. So uh, media and digital literacy framework somehow have been slow to react to artificial intelligence and its repercussions. Therefore, the research results recommended a number of strategies for the future. The strategies center around a more agile, responsive, and participatory approach to the weather media and or digital literacy framework development and maintenance. So that's all from me. And on behalf of the fifth ICCD 2023 committee, I would like to thank you for joining us today. Now we will going back to join the main room again, Mas uh, Zaki, or we can leave the room um, just like that. Uh, yeah, we need to join the main room again. But before okay. we leaving, um, please, uh, I I remind uh, to fill the present the present link on the. Oh uh, yeah! Platform. Don't forget to fill the uh, link of the presentation or the link of your um. The link of your uh, presence here. Don't forget to fill in the form again. So thank you very much for your participation and cooperation. See you thank in a happier you. condition. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank, 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 thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you to the moderator and all presentation participants, at the ICCD 2023 event. See you at the next ICCD.